What's going on guys? It's Steve, your captain. Yeah, that's right, your captain. Along for this super cool dining review of Cape May Seafood Buffet or the Cape May Cafe over at the Beach Club Resort. Quite possibly me and Susanna's favorite restaurant in all of Disney property. I know, I mean, there's, there's fancier places, you've got your flying fishes, you've got your yachtsmen's and California grills, but we really, really, really love seafood. We're huge seafood people. And uh, we really love going over to the beach club and eating at K-May. We probably go at least once or twice a month. It's fantastic. Um, it's a full seafood buffet of crab legs, steamed clams, calamari, fried calamari, fried shrimp, um, stone claws, stone crab claws, which is a big thing down here in Florida. And of course, it's in one of the prettier resorts in all of Disney, which is the Yacht Club Beach Club, or the, on the Beach Club side, um, with its grand lobbies and its gorgeous furniture. There's just something like kind of yeah, elegant and cool about going to the Beach Club, especially if you're a captain like myself. You feel like you're kind of back home. <laughs> so um, yeah, we definitely uh, enjoy going over to Cape May. I just wanted to show you guys the buffet a little bit so that you could kind of see what exactly is on it. So let's take a look at the buffet. Here's the entrance coming in. So when you come in through the lobby, Cape May is off to the right. Um, it's not easy to make. You're gonna see it and you're probably gonna smell it. Cause sorry, if you guys don't like seafood, you're gonna catch the smell of seafood coming out of Cape May. It kind of spills into the lobby. Although I'll say they do a pretty good job at containing the seafood aromas, but it does kind of spill into the lobby a little bit. But yeah, so here's the Cape May buffet. Here now, here is the center section. The center is the buffet. It's not a huge buffet. It's not like it's overly spread out, maybe like Boma or something like that. It's pretty confined to that little section that you see right there in the middle. All of your, um, every everything is there, except for the desserts. The desserts are on the other side, and I'll show you that later in the video. But um, let's just start off by kind of taking a look at what they've got. Now, these are the stone claws, the stone crab claws. Big thing here in Florida. I like them, I love crabs. I like stone claw crabs, stone crab claws. They're not maybe the number one thing I go for, but then they've got steamed shrimp. Really, really good steamed shrimp. Great quality steamed shrimp. And all of the cocktail sauces, the seafood sauces. Um, really nice, yummy, fresh green salad. Oh, oh my God, it's so good. Like now that thing in there, then in the back, that's where they're actually steaming all the seafood. So all of your crab legs and everything are getting steamed in that big steamer right in the center of the buffet, which is really, really cool. It's not something that you see at most seafood restaurants or whatever. So um, coming on down, let's see, this is the, sea, uh, this is the um, fresh fruits. There's uh, what, watermelon, grapes, pineapple, cantaloupe, I tried to get some of the uh, cards so that you can see what everything is in there, but it's everything here is on the cold. This is your cold side stuff. So sitting on ice, you got your different um, pasta salads, uh, more green salads. Let's see if we get the cards there, and we do. It's very yummy. And here are the different soups. I believe this was the clam chowder. Yes. This is the New England clam chowder. So good, if you love clam chowder, you'll love it. Uh, this one was a, did I get the cards? I can't remember what soup this is. I can't remember if I've had this one or not. Mm, I hope I got that in the card. But anyways, on to the goods, the crab legs. And crab legs are on both sides of the buffet. So if you're in one side that looks kind of crowded and full, just swing on around to the other side. There might be a shorter line, which is what we've discovered whenever we go is, um, Yes, the lines could be opposing on either side. They have little neck steamed clams, which are so good. Again, they're steamed right there at the buffet in their giant steamer. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal little neck clams. Gorgeous crab legs. Of all the crab legs I've had in seafood restaurants and seafood buffets over the year, I gotta say, I think the absolute best crab legs I've ever had, Susanna's ever had, it's at Cape May. Now they do have this, it's a seafood paella with mussels and clams in it. There may be fish in that too, but the main thing is the mussels and clams in the paella. They have pastas. This is a nice pasta. Should have got the card here for this one too. This one is the 
get some focus here. Yeah, vegetable pasta, chicken spinach Alfredo pasta. So if you're not a seafood guy, there is other stuff to eat at Cake May. So if you have someone in your party that's not a seafood person, fried calamari, yum. Very, very good. Grilly, I'm sorry, fried clams, not calamari. Take that back, that's the fried clams. They do have calamari, but that's the fried clams. On this night, excuse me, on this night they had the fried cod. Now, Cake May does alternate. Um, they'll do on certain nights fried cod, on certain nights fried shrimp, and on certain nights fried calamari. So if you want one of those things specific, you may have to call ahead and ask what they're doing for that night. So on this night we visited was the fried cod night. Um, this is the children's section, which doesn't mean that I can't go visit that section, but it's the children's section. Section It's the mac and cheese, good mac and cheese. Nothing extraordinarily special about it, but just good children's mac and cheese, I guess is what I would call it. Um, <clears throat> there's um, broccoli with melted cheese, because children and Steve need a little uh, extra flavor on their broccoli. Um, so we melt cheese on it. So just, not just for the kids, for anyone who wants a little cheese on their broccoli. Baked chicken. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, chicken legs. Coming on around. They've got pizza. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a lot of options aside from the seafood. So, you do have pizza on this buffet, too. You have pasta with meatballs. I believe that should be coming up next. Meatballs in a marinara sauce. Look at those meatballs. They're so good. It's a really nice marinara sauce, too. And a very good pasta. Nice spaghetti. So you can make a nice spaghetti pasta. And we have the various breads and butters. This is the whipped butter. Nice, tasty, fresh whipped butter. All of the breads. This is the sweet butter. Cornbread. French bread. Rolls. Dinner rolls. Coming on a round. So good too. There's something on this buffet for everybody. I will say that. You've got your carved coffee crusted sirloin. Sirloin is cooked really, really nice. That coffee crust, if you like that, it gives it a really, really nice flavor. Honestly, when I go though, I'm such a big seafood guy, I don't spend too much time on something like sirloin, but I have tried it and it's very good. Very good. There's onion jam, there's a uh, horseradish cream different types of um, different things that you can put on your sirloin as well for that little extra added flavor. Now this coming around this side again is more crab legs. But with this pot here I want to show you guys this is where you'll find your clarified not melted butter but clarified melted butter and I can't exactly remember what the difference is. It's something to do with the way I think like it's boiled or something. Either way clarified butter by far is superior especially when you're eating your um, when you're dipping it for your seafoods. They have a different variety of cheeses We've got a Formade, the Al Ambert, and then Vermont cheddar cheese, and just a generic selection of cheeses. But it's very nice, they have nice little cubed up pieces of cheese. Mashed potatoes, which are super yummy. Great mashed potatoes and a brown gravy too, so if you wanna put brown gravy on your potatoes, got that. Nice beef brown gravy. That's that big steamer in the back. You can see him wheeling a whole thing of crab legs. It looks like getting ready to cook. Barbecue ribs. I mean, like I said, I strict more of seafood, but if you again, if you're not a seafood person, so many options. You've got the, um, so this is the herb salmon. Those are the mussels. Very, very nice mussels. So good. You see him loading up the crab legs in the background. Probably, like I said, for crab legs, if you're a crab leg person, these are the best. I mean, I've had crab legs all over the United States. These are the best. See them just steaming them right there. Uh, here you go, you got your red potatoes, you got your corn on the cob. And then again, on the other side of the buffet now, you have more steamed clams, little necks, and more crab legs. So definitely wanna check both sides. Sometimes, you know, I, I don't know, it's psychological, but it's something about it. I, I like to see a big pan of crab legs that are ready to go, ready to eat. And if it looks empty or if it looks like the legs are kind of, kind of sitting at the bottom in the steamed water, I don't really want those. Sometimes they can take on the flavor of that steamed water. So just check both sides. Usually at least one side will be full. Um, 
And again, clarified butter. Grab your cups and get clarified butter, which is a really nice treat. Here are the crab legs. That's pretty much what I stuck with on this meal was crab legs and clams. I was just in a crab leg clam state of mind. That's what I wanted to eat. And there's my clarified butter and a little cocktail sauce. Um, they will bring you Old Bay seasoning. I like Old Bay seasoning, even on crab legs. Some people may think that's a little weird. You know, most people use Old Bay seasoning on shrimp or, or blue crabs, but I like, I like Old Bay seasoning on uh, crab legs as well. Very, very good. I can't over overstate how good the crab legs are. Your captain can't overstate how good they are. Steamed clams, I mean, the little necks are perfect. And you can have as many of them as you want. I mean, I remember I used to sometimes just go to the market and just buy steamed clams and just have some steamed clams with a piece of bread. Like here, you just sit down and just, you can fill up on steamed clams if you want to. Look how happy I am, so happy. Now here's a dessert spread. I believe this one is the, uh, let's see, did we get the sign in this one? Lemon meringue, lemon curds. Okay, lemon curds. All like the little, I like how they did the little small size too, so you can kind of taste them, you know? You can fill up a plate of various different types of desserts and give them all a taste. Always bringing out fresh ones. This is a Boston cream tart. Yum. Here we have a flourless chocolate cake. Now these are the Oreo bonbons, which are absolutely a must have. If you're not gonna try any other dessert at the, at the Cape May, you've gotta try the Oreo bonbons. It's an absolute must have. It's like an Oreo cookie at the bottom with the chocolate, and then it's got like the Oreo uh, cream, Oreo cream in the center with that powdered like cocoa chocolate on top. To die for, <laughs> absolutely to die for. Yeah, if there's anything, if there's nothing else you want, or if you're just so full, at least try one Oreo bonbon, because that'll lead to two, to three, to four. Next thing you know, you've got a whole plate of Oreo bonbons, but you've got to get the Oreo bonbons. Um, let's see, what was this guy? I don't think I, this was something unique and different. This is a coconut chai pudding with pineapple, which was very, very good. Now this is on the other side. These are 30th anniversary uh, Hollywood Studios cupcakes. I love how they print right onto the sugar, uh, I mean, onto the white chocolate like that. It looks so cool. A little special 30th anniversary cupcake. It almost looks so nice and like a souvenir, you don't want to eat it. <laughs> you, can, you can bring it home with you and freeze it. But anyway, yeah, red velvet cupcake, I should say, the red velvet. But yeah, maybe you could take them home and just freeze them. Put them beside your little wedding cake. They have, uh, what do you call it, dirt. That's fun for the kids and Steve. <laughs> they have the, the dirt, little worm hanging out. Worms and dirt. All of the mason jars of different cookies. You've got sugar cookies, chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal cookies, uh, s'mores brownies, which are so good. If you love s'mores, you're gonna love a s'mores brownie. It's, it's, it should be outlawed. You shouldn't be able to make something taste as good as a s'mores brownie. These are vanilla cake squares. If you just want something maybe a little bit simpler with like a cup of coffee, plain vanilla cake squares. Now, I really, really, really love the fried shrimp that they have and the calamari. Now, although they didn't have fried shrimp and calamari on the night that we went on this particular evening, I wanted to show you guys what the fried shrimp and calamari does look like. So usually it's alternating. So there's only gonna be like shrimp one night, calamari one night, codfish one night, but this is a mix. I kind of had a little special thing done up for us, but this is a mix. You can see what both look like. The calamari is to die for, <laughs> it's to die for. Um, the batter, I love it. It's like a real like New England style light batter. Uh, the same goes for the fried shrimp. But yeah, I just wanted you to see, I mean, yeah, I, I, look at my face. I wanted you to see how much I love it though. The fried shrimp and the calamari is so good. Of course, like I said, this was something done up a little special for us so I can show you guys what that normally would be like if you go on a night with shrimp or calamari. Um, it would normally not have like the grated cheese or the uh, the sauce that's on there, but either way, it's it's phenomenal, it's really good. But anyway, so all in all, let me sum up Kate May for you. First of all, let me say this. I'll leave a, uh, I'll leave a card up here for you guys. Um, if you want to see, a com I mean, this is a full dining room, but if you want to see me actually eating from the restaurant and talking from the restaurant, uh, I'll leave a card with a, another review I've done of Kate May in the past. Um, but all in all, I just wanted to say, Kate May, I think, is a must-do at Walt Disney World 
if you are a seafood lover. If you love seafood, I think it's a must do. If you're not a seafood person, yeah, you don't have to. However, if you have seafood people in your family or party, there's gonna be food for you to eat there, whether it's the chicken, the pastas, the pizzas, the mac and cheese, the ribs, barbecue ribs, potatoes and gravy. Um, there's plenty to eat there if you're not a seafood person. But if you're a seafood person, I really do believe it's a must do because I gotta say, I've had crab legs all over this great land of America, <laughs> this great country. And I've yet to find, and I truly mean this, any crab legs that are as good or as well steamed and prepared as Cape May. Had them in Vegas, been to some of the nicest Vegas buffets. No, it still doesn't compare to the, or doesn't beat Cape May. It's a must do. Go there, enjoy it. Like I said, now, if you're concerned about if they're gonna have the shrimp or the sh uh, clams or the cod, then maybe call ahead, find out what they have planned for that day. I'm sure if you ask very nicely, they might maybe bring you a little bit of fried something different that's not up there like the shrimp if it's cod night or whatever but don't quote me on that <laughs> um, but yes so Kate May is fantastic it's wonderful it's where we go all the time it's me and Susanna's place honestly we do you know you know us we do so many dining reviews all over Disney I wish every dining review would just be Kate May so that I have an excuse to eat there uh all the time we actually would eat there more it's just you know we have to get around into other restaurants and try other places for you guys but if yeah if i could do cape may every time for a dining review i'd be so happy that's probably why i'm doing another dining review in a little bit of a different style um but yeah cape may fantastic it's at the beach club uh this is going to sound like a really fatty guy fat guy thing to do but one thing that we've done in the past that worked out great you go to Cape May, have yourself like a little bit earlier dinner, really enjoy your seafood, and then you go next door to Beaches and Cream for a nice ice cream dessert, Why? Right? Like it makes for a, such a great, uh, great evening or something. Yeah, I've, I've done that before, we've done that one. We've definitely done Cape May and then just gone next door to Beaches and Cream, that's another topic. But anyway, guys, that's a wrap on this video. I just wanted to say thanks to all the new subscribers out there. We really, really, really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, now's a great time to smash the little subscribe button down below and uh, ding the bell. That way you're notified every time we upload new videos. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it gave, it gave you some information, give it a little thumbs up, give it the like. That way uh, it really helps out the video and it helps out the channel. And let me know down in the comments. Are you a uh, big fan of Kate May? or are you planning to go to Cape May on your next Disney vacation? Let me know down in the comments. Let's talk Cape May and some seafood. All right, guys, take care, have a good one. We'll see you next time, bye.